are a middle school math teacher struggling with how to teach distributed property in your sixth, seventh, or eighth grade math class, you are in the right spot. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to teach distributed property in your middle school math classroom, whether you are in a virtual classroom, a face-to-face -face classroom, or some hybrid of the two. This video is going to show you exactly how to teach distributed property so that it's easy and understandable. If we don't already know each other, my name is Kathy Martin and I'm the creator of the Pre-Algebra Teachers Middle School Math Membership. We are your one-stop shop for everything you need to teach middle school math. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single video. Okay, let's jump right in to the goods. Here we go. Now, the best really and only way, in my opinion, to teach middle to teach distributed property is to show your students how to do what I call the rainbow method. Okay, what the heck does that mean? Now, it's really important, obviously, as teachers, we tell our students, we explain to our students that the word distribute means to multiply. So distribute means to multiply. Okay, we get that, right? It means the same thing. So one easy way, as I have mentioned, to remember distribute is to think about rainbowing. So I'm gonna show you exactly what this means. So you're gonna multiply, I'm gonna use a different color here. You're gonna multiply or rainbow the outside number with every single um, number inside the parentheses. So here we're gonna do four times four is 16. And then the next rainbow is we're gonna do four times eight with four times positive eight, which is going to be positive 32. And that is going to get me 16 plus 32. So that's going to get me 48. Now, I'm going to do the same thing, even if I have variables, right? So I'm going to rainbow the outside number with each number on the inside. So I have six times x is 6x. And then I'm going to rainbow my second number here, which is the outside number times positive 4. So 6 times positive 4 is positive 24. And so since I cannot simplify this any further, I am going to leave it like that, 6x plus 24. Next, I have, I'm going to rainbow 7 times x, and that's going to get me 7x. Then I'm going to rainbow 7 times negative 8. And I have to explain to my students that the sign is attached to that second number. So 7 times negative 8 is negative 56. And then lastly, I am going to rainbow, I have negative 3 times x minus 5. So I'm going to rainbow or multiply negative 3 times x, which is going to get me negative 3x. And then I'm going to rainbow negative 3. Remember, the negative is attached to the 5 here. So I have negative 3 times negative 5, which is going to be positive 15. Since I cannot um, simplify that any further, my answer is just going to be negative 3 plus 15. As I do examples with my students as we finish up our notes. I love to continue with some reinforcement activities. And I want to show you a few of the reinforcement activities that I love to use. So this is inside of the pre-algebra teachers middle school math membership. I'm going to scroll um, into the sixth and seventh grade lesson plans. It is here and I'm going to find where the distributed property area is. So it's in chapter three. So inside the membership, we have a distributed property video um, where, you know, if you have students who have missed your live class or who maybe were absent the day of your class, I have a great video where I can show them how to do distributed property and there is a student note taker with it. I love to use, you know, my PowerPoint. This shows them everything. And then um, one of the things that I love to use is a board game. If you are able to play, if you are face-to-face -face and you are able to play together in class, 
this distributed property board game is perfect. The follow-up activity that I love to do after my notes is this little food, what I call my food note taker. So they'll write the definition. They will use, you know, the distributed property to work through this um, activity. And of course, there's teacher notes for you as well. And one of my favorite activities is this maze activity along with an answer key. And I also, if you can't play face-to-face, -face, if you are in a virtual setting, we have this amazing distributed property digital board game that, um, you know, students can play together. So this, you know, the, all the cards are available for your students to use. They'll take turns. These are the, these are the movable pieces and exclusively inside of the membership. My ultimate favorite is this escape room. It is all about um, distributed property. They are trapped inside this crazy escape room. They have four huge clues that they have to find in order to escape this room. Um, if you would like to download all of these amazing activities, minus the digital escape room, because that's exclusive to the membership, click on the link above or below this video so you can grab today's freebie. And again, don't forget to subscribe to the Pre-Algebra Teachers YouTube channel so that you don't miss a single video. See you next time. Bye.